folks. That's it. Let's start. We'll start going. So I just want to welcome everybody to the May 30th town hall for SKL. This is going to be a different town hall in the sense that we normally uh, have a different script, um, but largely this is going to be a platform for um, the big reveal that I've been wanting to show for some time now. Um, but we're going to go over through some uh, standard business. So to kick off, I'm just going to cover kind of the state of the union right now in terms of SKL as a whole. So there's been a lot of uh, ops still going on. Uh, we're starting to pick up in activity in a lot of cases. We're seeing a lot of people finish school, um, but some folks are still getting ready for final exams in some places. So we're kind of at a, a midway point. Um, we're seeing we just had the last campaign uh, get wrapped up or is wrapping up in the next little while, I guess. Um, but largely, in terms of the game itself, obviously nothing uh, super-duper significant other than the anniversary and then things that the community have been driving towards, right? So like the Bash and Smash, to give you an example as per usual. So no different, right? The community is driving the interest in the game uh, this last little bit. And so I'm kind of hoping that what I'm going to show you uh, we'll kind of kick up a little bit into some excitement for the next little bit. Um, but that being said, still want to go over some of the things. So we had some good events like the Bastion Smash uh, yesterday that went extremely well. Um, I wasn't able to make it, uh, but I just I heard a lot about it. And just like if it was like anything like the last Bastion Smash, it was a hoot. And those are always fantastic when the community works together to get that stuff kind of set up. Uh, we've been doing a lot more like WSC Armors. Uh, we've had those events, training events out the Yin Yang. The Academy is now in properly full swing with the first uh, generation of graduates going through the ringer, uh, essentially day by day. Um, so if you haven't signed up for the academy and you're, you're still looking to get into the leadership side of the house, it's a perfect opportunity to do so, is to get into that. It's the stepping stone to getting asset perms, getting into the, the tight-knit leadership community and things of that nature, right? So as well as you kind of open, it opens your eyes up to what's going on in SKL as a whole a lot more. Um, I actually could probably answer that much better than I could, but yes and no. Uh, it's less of a, it used, we used to have a complete division that would be part of it was sniping, part of it was sneaking, part of it was just causing general chaos and being a burr in people's shoes. Um, but as it stands right, yeah, yeah, it, essentially it, it's changing with the academy system. Uh, and, I'll, and if Tashi wants to jump in, man, you can go in on that one and save me. Um... Do we want to go ahead and answer this now, or do we want to go ahead and get on and answer it later? Nah, just jump on it now. Okay, so what you're referring to is something that was called the Ethereal Legion, or the, the Ghost Core. Uh, yes, they're still around, they still exist, they still operate, though mostly under the radar at the moment. Uh, there are plans to bring them back into the public eye as a part of a distant Regiments of Renown system, though... That is not going to be happening for quite a hot minute until we get academies stabilized. But yes, we do exist, and we are still being spooky. Oof on the last comment, but I just can say. <laughs> um, so, kind of going back to just the overall uh, scheme. Largely what we're seeing is still community-driven events, right? We're in between Outfit War seasons again. Uh, the campaign teased some new, possibly new continent, and we got, you know, just the same thing, right? We're kind of, we're in between, we're kind of waiting for stuff to happen, so we have to drive it ourselves, right? So we've had the logistics smash, that's still go. well, that's a, I shouldn't say that's still going, but it's still a thing, right? So there's all sorts of opportunities coming up. Um, a lot of us have been extremely busy uh, and just kind of dealing with a lot of things and trying to manage uh, the work-life balance or school-life balance, right? And with this, especially when we're doing other things, that's why to me the, the reveal is the biggest thing for me personally because it's been something I've been working on for a very long time. 
uh, but I'll get into that again. Um, I'm actually just going to launch it over to Avakadu before I trail off into circular discussion there and let him talk about the two major things that he wanted to bring up. Over to you, buddy. Hello. Um, I'm going to make this short and sweet. The event that is coming up in the near future this Saturday around 6 p.m. EST, potentially a bit earlier than that in order to beat out the queues, we're having another Force Commander event. What this basically entails is there will be one coordinator over multiple platoons. The last time we had two platoons in change, this time we may get two, may get three. And it will basically be a coordinated SKL army operating across whatever continent happens to be open at the time. In the past, we've usually gone through one alert. We may go through one alert. We may go through two this next time. I'm fairly certain it'll only be one, though. I will be leading the Force Commander event, as well as a couple hand-picked platoon leaders and officers from the officer leading who will be doing squads. Look for future pings and notices upcoming starting around Wednesday. The second event is sort of an experimental one. And it hinges around, well, it doesn't hinge, it originates around a chess craze. Me, personally, I started to get back into chess right around the time when Moist Critical absolutely humiliated XQC in front of thousands of rabid viewers last year. But one of the things in chess that I was interested in is something called a correspondence game. The most famous example of this is when the world champion Gary Kasparov faced off against over 500 different people in what is known as Kasparov against the world. What a correspondence game in chess entails is one team basically faces off another team over the board. You have about, say, a day to maybe two days. It really depends on the match. But you'll have one team vote on a move. They will make a move. And then the next team will have X amount of time to respond. Coming in the near future, we will have a, say, experimental correspondence chess game against 2-Ref. Now, the date's not set in stone, and we're still working on the rules. But if you're interested in this sort of thing, kind of like an offside to Planet Side 2, we will be challenging to ref in a game of chess. There will be rules for this, and you will need to sign up for a couple roles, but that's just one of the things that's coming up this next month. I'm really excited about it. I know a couple other people in Elite Command who are a lot better at chess than I do are also excited about it. And when that game starts, we will be posting daily updates on our fight against 2 ref. That's pretty much it. Perfect. Thank you, Avakadu. I am not personally interested in chess. I threw footballs and played baseball, so not my avenue, but honestly, I would still participate because I think reaching out with our other outfits, our allied outfits, even on other factions, is a fantastic thing to do, especially something about that takes us out, outside of planet side that we can develop those relationships with the community, right? So, and 2RAF being probably our biggest ally, I'll be perfectly honest, probably our straight up per best allied outfit throughout the entire community that we've got such the best relationship with, in my opinion, at this point in time, in terms of some of the things we do together. I, I completely, I, I am happy to hear that sort of stuff kind of happening in the background and just furthers the, furthers what we have going on in the community. Okay, so enough of my rambling and all this junk. I'm going to do the worst part of all of these is when I do something and play it on screen share and I have to test the audio because it scares the hell out of me that it's not going to work. 
So I'm going to screen share my screen. I'm not uploading my project until later this evening onto YouTube just because I literally was up at 4 a.m. working on it, and I literally just got uh, parts of it this morning to, to kind of help wrap it up. But before I go into that, I want to give you all a little bit of background. So the first uh, iteration of our new logo uh, was approximately three months ago, two months ago, but I started working on it three months ago. And the trailer went really well, but then it, you know, in, in such a quick turn on it tanked just because it, I'm not going to get into the details of it, but it, it just essentially tanked in something kind of so ridiculous that it was actually really funny to me to the fact that there was so much work involved with it and it just tubed so quickly because it's something so minor. And so what I'm going to show you is the culmination of two months of work. Um, you're going to see a lot of things, and I need you to understand that a lot of that took one business day for changes and for modifications. But at the same time, I wanted to achieve a lot of, uh, uh, to catch up for that time lost because still in my, hand, in my mind I have uh, uh, a time scale to keep, right? I, I need to, I want things to achieve and certain triggers to, to, to hit, but at the same time I want to, I want to set expectations of timelines and what things look like and how long it takes to make things look good or even acceptable, if I can put it that way. But without further ado, I'm going to share my screen with 13 Hour Soldiers on Benghazi to see if you can hear my audio and see my visual. If I can remember how to share my goddamn screen. You got it, Uncle Joe. Oh my god. <laughs> eh. Need help, Uncle Joe? I think I do, because I'm not sure if I can even screen share in the town hall in the this new room, because we're using the old rooms. Um, hmm. Mm -hmm. Let you me did see. it earlier. It's possible. Um, let me see. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not just Uncle Joe anymore, am I? You cannot stream in this channel. What? You can stream in the Town Hall meet channel. You have a video link or something, or... No, it's not not upload, uploaded. Not, ah. not at all. Okay, fuck it. I'm going into the Hangout, and that's what I'm showing it there, so just come down to the Hangout. Just please, I ask that everybody mutes their mic. That hard backs up. <laughs> Don't do it. How? Can I get just a couple of the abs to make sure we got folks that are just force muted just so I know not everybody's going to mute. And I just want to make sure there's no chatter during this. Merci beaucoup. Hi. Are you Canadian? Yes. Rien. I don't speak French, man. I just started learning it. Give me a break. Yeah, maybe, uh, the channel is at least if you talk and that should solve it. It's very good. Uh, okay. Wh what? I can't play. What the fuck? That was a very quick stream. It just closed it as soon as I hit play. Oh god! I hope there's right. nothing. It might be something like copyright. I would fucking lose uh, my whole, mind. No, what you gotta do, Ubers, you gotta you gotta stream via screen. Via uh, a screen, like screen share. So no, that, that's what I'm doing. I'm hitting screen share. I got the Hangout. I got Windows Media Player going source. Are you going on application or just screens? On the application. Yeah. So no, don't do that. Screens has to be the application, otherwise there'll be no sound. Exactly. I'm super. Okay, so uh, I'm on application actually. Okay. It might be a numbers limit that Discord has. Or he could have no. uh, streamer mode enabled, which is denying it. Yeah. Not... Or it could just be the app. 
There's yeah. so many fucking... I don't know. There's like a million Windows Media Player boxes open. And I've only got one. Okay. What if I do... That's so weird. It automatically closes the video. Can you do download VLC and get that running if you have it? VLC. VLC is a super easy to use media player. Yeah, I know what VLC is, but this is just fucking annoying. Maybe just Windows Media Player is broken. Most likely, it's. I don't think Windows Media support is supported anymore on Windows. So, yeah. No, I Thank can't drag it. Thank you for a plug. It's connected to the energy. To, to the energy? Hang on. <laughs> we'll fix it out. Audio sharing. Yeah, she just insta-closes. Fuck me. I never had time to upload it. All right. V what is it? VLG? V VLC, yep. VLC. Not VLG. Unless we're on a Valkyrie. Yeah, that's right. In the so, means. Uh, ooh, yeah, or we take over. Uh, I'm going to just swear uh, and curse in my mic. Does anyone have like any other topics we're going to go over the meeting? Uh, Tayashi or Avocado? Or Noah? I'll be saying mine at the very end. It's more like a last-minute statement for everyone. Well, you might as well uh, say it now because this this yeah. is going to wrap up. All right. Lately, to... I've been noticing a disappointing lack of Sundays, Maxes, and Grenades, while I've been a victim of a ton of them. <laughs> Used to remember getting hit by grenade-friendly fire, and, and nowadays I'm kind of missing that because... You could get massive kills with that, and it also clears out point rooms pretty effectively if you all throw it. Even if it's one at a time, throwing it in there does wipe them out. So, yep. Also, maxes are 2,000, are 2000 HP killing machines, so consider using them every once in a while, especially when you're full on nanites. All right, and I'll go ahead and do a quick plug. For those of you here who are interested in getting into leadership, I want to direct your attention up top to the news channels. We have the Academy News Channel. If you go and check that out. We've got a link just a little farther ways up. It should be highlighted as every Legionnaire is pinged by it. Click on that link and go fill that out and get yourself involved in the Officers Academy. It's working, sort of, Uber. So it was in the top left corner. I think Discord's having a fit. Yeah, it's only showing it in like a small cube in the corner. Yeah. See, when I maximize it with VLG2 or VLC or fuck it is, it just, um... Just show it on the too. screen. I don't, at this point, it's, we should probably just see the visual at this point and hope that it auto works. goes through. I mean, it still works. You still get the sound. We still get the visuals. It's just not taking up the whole screen, which is fine. Wait. There we go. Yeah, we're good. No, okay. no so this way we don't get the sound. Okay, so no sound? Got it. Man, what the fuck? Stream your uh, screen, not the VLC yeah. itself. You gotta stream VLC itself. No, it's that's up. that's what's closing it, right? I stream yeah, but... VLC, I maximize it, and it closes it. Just don't maximize it. Just leave it as is. It's fine. I we I'm can gonna still try see and it. see if I can do a a border window hangout. No PTT. You don't need to maximize it because it's, it's a 
Less for it's us maximized for us. Yeah, yeah, exactly. There we go. I think this is good. Oh my god, stop. Yeah. Is that working there? Yes. Uh, yep. Audio? Yep. yep. Yes. Yep. Alright, well I didn't bring you in to watch Expendables, so... Bro, I, I think dead ass thought that was the start of the fucking trailer. <laughs> Yeah, I was thinking this is really well done. God, this is straight fucking painful. <sighs> Uber, could you just send it to me, or it's just upload? No, I got it. Now that, now that that worked, I'm bringing it up. I just wanted to make sure it works, so. Alright, screen sharing the fucking thing. Oh my god. Alright. Oh. It work? You hear it? I yep. can hear it, but it's a black Good. screen for now. Yep, that's it. That's fine. Perfect. Here we go. Their mics on and the videos, audio is echoing. There we go. There's a maximum number of viewers. What? Fuck, oh, come on. you got to be shitting me. <laughs> Should have oh, uploaded it to YouTube. Oh, man. Look, I didn't have... Okay, you know what? I'm going to show it twice. So... How do we know how many people are getting it? Uh, if you click on the stream bottom left corner, currently there are 50 people watching. Yep. No, but Which that's fine. Maximum. That's fine. 50 is almost everyone here. Like, yeah, I, I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave. Someone else, if you're not there, join, because I can watch it later. Someone it's going to be uploaded. I just want, okay. All right. Yeah, wait, yeah. watch it later. So if there's 50 people in there, it's most of everyone, so. Elite command, just leave. <laughs> okay, so mic's off. I'm gonna play it. Here we go. Uh, is it still going? Failed. Nope, it's dead on my end. <laughs> yeah, it's just, you want know, it's just simpler to upload it to YouTube Uber at this point. Yeah, just send a just send the link and everybody can go look at it later. Unfortunate. Fuck's sakes. All right, let me see something here. You know, as they say, no plan meets first contact. Or being survived. Okay, someone sing a song. I'm just going to upload it. May I ask a question about Force Command? Have we found a good way of getting comps? is one of the things that is still being tested, right? So we're trying different methods. Discord, in-game. Okay. That's the one thing that killed the fun for me. Thank you. Mm-hmm. So, Karen, we're waiting for the video to be uploaded, I suppose? Yeah, I'm just going to throw it on. I'm going to stay in here and I'm going to end up playing it, but I'm going to upload it because I don't want to... Yeah. yeah. 
Well, if there's anything else in the guys wanted to talk about, you could do that, I guess. No, yeah, largely this was going to be... Unless, so, Orby, you got something you want to talk about? No, no, that, that was about it. But Uber, so the plan here is you're going to upload it, and then we're all going to watch it on the upload. Uh, do you have anything else you want to talk about about it specifically? Nah, I kind of tube the whole fucking thing, to be perfectly frank. It's at 26 minutes, or 26%. So I'm going to just stay in the room and end up screen sharing it. And see, because that worked last time. <laughs> but it'll be on my my dis my uh, YouTube. Hey, uh, should someone go to the old town hall meeting room in case people join late and wonder where everyone is, so we can tell them, hey, go to the other room? I think they can just look at the channel and figure it out. I yeah, I mean, you'd think, but both share it yeah, that's what I did. There's still two people. So what the fuck did I get? Then I just pulled down. Sadly, it's not a requirement. I've only got three minutes left anyway, but even still, it's max 50 people for screen share, I guess. I, I honestly didn't That's think we I said, you and I could share people. simultaneously. Yeah, oh, I see. I missed that. Hey, Uber, remember to put the uh, link in the in the chat. Breath does that, where they'll have more than 50 people, so they'll just have multiple people stream it simultaneously. By the way, what's the recruitment uh, procedure to get into a more serious squad? <clears throat> uh, I would give the hunter killers a ring. Make sure you guys are typing your questions down in the meeting text channel so they can go into the meeting Q and A afterwards. No, there's no harm in doing an open forum at the moment. Yeah, I know, but it doesn't have to write it down in, in addition. Hey, Ty. What's up? So, there is a uh, sort of a sniper division? Yes. Uh, so yeah, that's the ghosts. They were originally a division of straight-up sweaty infiltrators, and that's really all we did. <clears throat> uh, we have specializations from sniping to close-quarters bolting to SMG play, uh, stealth assassinations... Uh, harassing enemy armor, shutting down their armor pulls. Because yeah, I was a sniper in the idea of the Israeli Defense Force, so that's what I'm really good at in game. So, uh, I will say this: if you are looking to be a part of the Ghosts and what they do, fair warning: we don't actually do a whole lot of long-range sniping because it's just not terribly viable in Planet Side when we're trying to you know, get an objective done. Well, I can always provide Overwatch. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be really honest. There's really nothing you can tell us that a, a recon dart won't. I, I, I really don't mean to be rude when I say that. No, you're good. I'll just, you know, whatever squad needs a sniper, I'll just join that squad. It doesn't matter. All right. I'll say I do appreciate you folks that want to see it right now hanging out. This is uh, highly annoying. So while it's going on, I'll give you guys a bit of background and reason why I even sound exhausted. So some of you might not be aware, but Northern Canada is flooding, and I'm part of the teams that are dealing with that. And then we've evacuated four communities so far, and so... Between that and this, it's just been pretty pretty busy, and I've been kind of decompressing. So I'm happy that this is done, and I, I'm 
still excited to show you all. I, I honestly, you know what? It doesn't want to stream, whatever. I'll, I'll make it work. It'll We'll figure it out. As long as the message gets out there and you guys get to see the content that would, we've been, well, I've been working on with uh, multiple creators from largely, well, mainly from Fiverr. And you get to see the things that are going to be coming up. So it's uh, super exciting for me. Is, is I don't I might not sound as energetic, but I really am excited for this. We can understand the uh, lack of energy. No, especially it's fine. With, yeah, especially with the evacuations. You. Yeah, but I got part of the product at about two a.m. this morning, so I got up and I was compiling the rest of it together, and then um, the problem is is you can process it, and then you see something you want to fix, and then you got to reprocess it. So all of that work, and I just didn't get a chance to upload it to YouTube, to be perfectly honest. So I'm like, okay, I'll just fucking stream it from Media Player. But good to know for next time that I just simply can't even get it to fucking stream for one person, apparently. So apparently, I have to uh, get it to work. Apparently, okay. Uber Monster is your friend. Not gross. Coffee and Irish cream, man. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> but yes. someone else had a good point that once you have it up on YouTube, you can use a service called Watch Together with number two in the middle dot com, and it'll actually allow us to synchronously watch the YouTube video outside of Discord. Really? Mm. How's that? Okay, so uh, yeah, watch together though. It's it it can be pretty laggy. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Uh, I'll be honest. Like you, you'll get you'll get the choice of the link. Or I'm gonna do what I'll do is I'll screen. Sh I want to screen share it first. I'll give the other one to Tayashi. He can screen share his because I still like the captive audience. Because I want to. I'm gonna present the link in a message later later on in about an hour or so once I gather my fucking brains here. Because I, I want a link that's HD. This is just gonna be SD to be just for the interest of time. Yep. So. How are we looking there? Are we almost done with the upload, Uber? She's at 99% processing, but she's been at 99% processing for the last 20 seconds. No, so it's good. It's lying to me. It's like 70, no, it's, I'm sure. That's fine. That's fine. We, we can fill up a few more minutes. So, uh, a Vanu, a, a new conglomerate, and a Terran walk into a bar. No, I'm not oh, doing God. that fucking shit. <laughs> you better have that link, Uber. Come on, man. I want to see it. Come on. Well, 99, man. I got 99 problems and my teaser is one. <laughs> Only SKL people do it, right? Well, I don't. You got it, man. If you're saying only SKL people can see it, this is going to be a public video. No, no, no. I'm talking about the division. Can only SKL people be a part of the division is what I was asking. Oh, uh, okay. So exist. he's asking about academies. Oh, I, I guess. So anyone can join the academy at the base level, but if you want to do anything higher within an academy, you have to be a part of SKL's roster. That's that's exclusive reserved for uh, SKL leadership and up. Yeah, but Trim, if you're asking just about like the training sessions and the stuff that like we run, you can probably join that by not being SKL. That's totally fine. Oh, yeah, totally. We, we don't we don't mind having you in like leadership trainings or stuff like that, even if you're not in SKL. No, no, the training is, uh, well, that that's really not... No, really... I don't expect you to use that. <laughs> no, I, I know, but it's, it's not that. It's like um, squads, for example, uh, certain, I don't know, um, what do you call it? Uh, certain ops, I guess. Mm -hmm. Talking about ghosts, talking about hunter killers and stuff like that. So I'm thinking you guys do ops. Uh, I was thinking, you, you yeah, don't? Yeah, Trim, I have an interesting question for you. Why uh, don't you join SKL, bro? No, 
Oh, it come on, work man. Like that. No, it doesn't come work on, like man. That. No, it doesn't work like that, Arby. You know you want it. Come on. No, I got to link. No. All right, Tash, I'm going to send you the link. All right. Okay. All right. So for everybody else, please just go on mute while we struggle to fucking get this to work. <laughs> Almost there. Yes. Join quick. Quick. Instantly jumps up to 40 people watching in half a second. Right? right. <laughs> can you can you see my mouse moving at least? Yep. Yep. Yeah. All right. We go. I'm just going to fucking play it and hang on to your butts. Please mute your mic.
Nice. You had to put that last party in Uber. <laughs> I did. I had to make reference Yikes. to myself, folks. <laughs> Yikes. Yikes. So for those of us who are unenlightened, could you explain that last bit? So that last bit was the first logo. Uh, I worked on the basically the beginning of February till about the end of Feb. Uh, or no, sorry. End of March, beginning of March, end of March. Um, so it took a month, and there was a lot of work involved with that. And when it came out, it was kind of the same style of teaser, um, but um, someone made a comment that it looked like a certain something that easily just ruined it completely. Like, we couldn't even use it as a anything. I'm not going to get to the details of it. But my God, sex, like... Man. No, Pretty much. No, no. Like, well, it was whatever. Like, it, it, either way, you, you couldn't get behind a, a logo like that, right? Like, you can turn a logo into whatever you want, and fucking people go out of their way to really slander logos anyway. But, like, this one was just something that it went through a lot of hands to get to the process and just wasn't seen. And the fact that it kind of just went, like, tube so fast within, like, an hour that I, you know, I, I had to laugh. Because the amount of money and amount of work that went into that fucking thing, it was just I had to put it in there because it it's still it still is funny to me. It's one of those okay, well shit happens. So I want to go and talk about parts of the video. So what you saw was uh, the culmination of two months of work with when you saw some of the photos in there for like the uh, the concept art and and again it makes me a little sad that I didn't ha you can see HD when the HD is up though you'll really get to appreciate how crisp. The artwork is and how awesome it looks. Um, the 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 time to get certain things done took about a, a business day essentially. So we get a ch we'd see the sketch, we'd want to make a change to the sketch. It'd be another day, and another day, and just time added up, right? So for this, this was something that I've been working on the whole time for the last I'll say three months because it was both, right? Um, it was a little bit of a kick in the junk to do to to have the first one tube so quickly. Uh, but I had to just, you know, cause I, I still wanted to achieve the same thing. So I had to go back to the drawing board. And so this was the, this was the result of it. And I want to say like the logo is going to be something that it's going to, I don't know how to describe it. I'm learning that the logo is still going to go through minor changes and tweaks, but I wanted something that is still largely what we've, um, uh, had which is the black hole right and this black hole so i'm going to screen share and i'm going to put it into theater mode and i'm going to kind of do click snips through the video so you can kind of see really why can't i fucking oh my god so in the meantime question for you uber yes who would we reach out to to have a custom icon made for us? Like so right now, be... yep, that's part of it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, right now, um, it's going to have to be me because I need to talk to the creator and how we can make it so people don't have to go through me, especially because it's it's uh, gonna it's not free, obviously, and so, so the it's through Fiverr, and so. The first thing you'd have to do independently is set up a Fiverr account. And then you would have the reference material, and you would tell them what kind of picture you're looking for. Um, you get that reference material from me, and then uh, it, it would be the vector files, which is important because the vector files are what they need. So instead of just like a PNG, because it would just turn out like absolute dog's ass. And so once you get a hold of the, the, the rep, they'll ask you, what are you looking for? Are you looking just for a logo? Are you looking for an animated intro? Are you looking for uh, just a, a spinning GIF or, or something that kind of shows, um, you know, something you put on Discord, right? So what you saw on that was basically the highest package. It costs around 150 Canadians, which is about 120 um, American dollars. And it had 
the full vector, full copyright, uh, the basically a loop animation for Discord, as well as an, a cinematic intro for videos, which was the last thing you saw. Right. So the thing with it is, um, it's obviously it's for you know for people who are willing to put money towards SKL. Um, and again, this is something that like the financial part of thing is another, it's a very touchy topic and it's something I'm going, I ha I'm basically gripping completely and it's, it's, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a challenge that, right. But long story short, if you want a custom logo, you can have a custom logo. So obviously you can tell, uh, let me, okay. You can actually see my screen until I click out for some reason. Oh, like what the fuck discord? Like I have to do that. We could see every time. No, no. So Uber. It'll pause it on your side, just to save on memory and whatnot. Okay, but for so us, you can it's see me shows. clicking across. Yeah, yes. you can see it. Okay, so I'm gonna go to this. All right, actually, I'm gonna do it where you can actually see the logo. Mm -mm, how fucking far was it? Okay, that's the spinning case. So that's the full full logo there, right? So you can see uh, they got pull key details for the helmet, the the commander's helm, the zealot armor, right? Um, and so what you get is the vector file for the logo in the background. And it's also the reason why I went with that logo is because the logo standalone can be recognized as SKL, but it leans as something you can put a mascot in front of and still recognize it as SKL and the mascot and whoever's mascot it is. That's the reason why I largely went with that logo. Um, so we'll go back, let you actually get a good look at the, yes, that's the Rick and Morty swirl. It's the, what I thought too. <laughs> I'm like, my God, like if it was green, we'd be getting sued. Um, so this is from Borderlands 3. And when we were getting the first gurgitation, so in fact, like this came before um, the Borderlands 3 one. I saw that and I'm like, all right, we're starting to fucking go sideways here. We're not going in a way that I feel like we could actually have as a crisp logo, you know. It literally it made me think of like spaghetti on the wall. So it was a lot of work to come from that to go to um, something where we're, we're going back to a sketch like that, right? So we colorized that and said, okay, yeah, it's kind of like, it's kind of like the spaghetti noodle uh, thing. And uh, let me see with the time. Yeah, it's just like before. Okay. And so, we, we managed to settle on that, which you can see now, you can see the inspiration of why the, the asteroids and meteors are in there, uh, the particles around that. And the asteroids and, and shit like that, that might get removed, that might get changed in the future, but this is the logo that I'm going with, right? This is what I'm going to be focusing on, and this is what I've put, put everything around. Again, because the key idea is I can do that. I can have a logo like that and show that you know it's Sokar's Legion, with or without the name, but then you can slap something in front of it, and you still know it's Sokar's Legion. Okay? So, this is our Betty. I hate calling it a Chan, because the Chan has got big stupid eyes, and like, like the inspiration for the Betty was Rivet Rita. Um, from the Second World War, uh, recruitment drive slash bond drive posters. So that's a little bit of a teaser because there's also other projects I'm working on for our mascot, for things like you can get backgrounds for your phone and, and shit like that. Okay, like I'm, I've got a lot of things that are going to slowly be pumped out, but I want everybody to understand the kind of work that's getting involved with this in the timeline. So one of the biggest things that was asked about me was like the website, right? What's going on with our website? Well, that website was started well before there was even a plan, and now there's a plan, the website's going to get gripped. I don't have a specific timeline for the website. It's a bit of a crapshoot. I was hoping for August. I don't know, because what I'm looking for is I'm looking to have the website covered in kind of stuff like this, okay? So these are social media packages that are meant to go for, like, Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, and things of that nature. They cross the banners and stuff like that. That's the start. Okay, um, this is the fundamental for the color scheme and the vector for the website in general. And it's going to drive a lot of the button stuff. So everything kind of leads into each other, and that's a horrible fucking oof. So going back to the one that I had, 
they will do pretty much whatever you want, right? Um, if you have a, a, like, these little things came out like fucking mushrooms the first time. And I sent it back, and they came back and said they, I wanted it more like cylinders, and they, they made it like cylinders, right? So you go into the detail you want. Like, I was very particular with the helmet, um, and they got, they got it down to a T. Um, so you, you provide reference photos. That's the most important thing, right? Whatever kind of action shot you want, they're willing to make work. It's just you have to provide reference photos, of course, as your, of your character so they know what they're working with and what they can see, okay? In terms of, like, an animated intro, to be perfectly honest, they kind of just did this for me off the cuff, right? When they, when they made this, I wasn't actually inspecting this, so I was super surprised and super happy that they went this far with it. But, right, there's nothing saying you can't have a name and you can have SKL under it. Or whatever. And here's the other thing. And, and this is, like, because you get the vector file, you can do whatever you want with your logo, right? It's yours. You're going to pay for it, and you're going to own parts of it. You're not Because I own the copyright to the SKL logo itself, you're going to own whatever you pay for in terms of the new content, right? So you can do whatever you want with it. You can fucking sell it. I don't care. It's going to be yours once that agreement happens. So there's there's the fiscal side of the house that has to get taken care of and also the legal side of the house that has to get taken care of. Because one thing that I want to be careful with that I've seen that is relatively half-baked is when people do merchandising, when people do anything that involves money, okay, people get squirrely. So it's the other reason I'm not taking donations for any of this. I think this fucking project costs around $600. I don't know. Something like that. Because the, the fact that there's so much that goes into this. People get squirrely when they talk about how much money is involved, who should be getting it, especially if it's going to a common pool, right? Well, there's no common pool that started this. This is out of my own personal pocket, right? So that's easily done. The, the thing is, is owning the copyright too is also determining who is the rightful owner for getting any benefit or any money out of it. So if there's anything going into SKL, it's because someone put money into it because we don't have we don't have advertisements. We don't have sponsors. We don't have any of that, right? It has to search from somewhere. So that's this is the start. This is where it begins. Okay, so when you if you want a custom logo to start, DM me and I can work on it. At least give me like a day, give me like a chance to fucking get some sleep for a minute and like figure out my life. I'll reach out to the animator and because I the only thing is I want to streamline the process. I want to know if if anybody comes off the street, they're like, yep, I'm an SKL. Here's my thing and, and here's the code that I get or whatever. I don't fucking know how I'm going to legitimize it. I don't know. I'll figure that out. But here's the reference material I, I want to give you and you make my logo and boom, I pay you directly because I don't want to be the intermediary for any financial transactions in that sense. I shouldn't, it's just not something I want my wheelhouse because it'll cause all sorts of other problems as well, right? Because then you have time deliveries because, again, these guys get busy, right? They're, I'm not the only customer they have. So that's the other reason why these things take a business day. So if you ask for a change, yeah, come back the next day because that's when you're going to get it. You're not getting it in an hour. You're not getting it in six hours. You're not getting it in 20. You're going to get it, like, a, basically beyond 24 hours, roughly, for minor changes to boot. Right? And a lot of these companies, they have teams of people working on this stuff. So I know, for example, like the animators were not the same people that actually designed the Betty or any of the logo, right? They, were, they had graphic designers, they had the animators, and things of that nature. In terms of video, I put the video together just, you know, I was putting pieces together. I use Cyber Pro, so I love it. Um, this, I love this. This is a cinematic, um, just like a off-the-shelf cinematic fucking... 3D thing. I love this intro. This is going to be one of our, our regular intros as well for videos. Um, one of the things that I mashed in is this logo and the other 3D logo with the mascot. They're actually two separate ones, and I just managed to get lucky with the timing and the, the, the light transition to make it just kind of flow seamlessly into the second logo there. Like, you, you wouldn't think twice. It was, right? So, Basically, I'm building a resource pool, resource pool of media and materials so the people who have great ideas and want to branch out and do cool things have this pool that they can just step step right into. Uh, oof, God, that thing scares me. So this, these sorts of things are going to be on, you'll see on our Discord, right? So we have, you know, our little spinning logo. We can switch between that. We can put the one with the mask on on it, right? Um, but it's going to give us this back. This, this background. So 
now the next question would be like, what what are the next steps? What are what are what am I looking towards for the future? Well, now I'm going to be looking towards expanding this, right? So you all know I want to get into merchandising, but merchandising is not going to happen anytime soon. I want it within this year, though. That that is my personal goal is to get this firmed up by December, where I can hopefully have merchandise. However, there's a lot that has to happen before that. And at the same time, I want to make sure that the website's done. I want to make sure we have a foundation for our members outside of Discord, right? So the thing, again, that I keep reiterating to you folks is the three lines of effort that I have are creating our identity. That's what I'm focusing on. The depth of the outfit, creating all these projects, all these community-driven events, all these cool-ass little ideas that you guys come up with that I just clearly don't have the brain power for, that's 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 how you guys help me out and help out the SKL family, right? And the third line of effort that involves both of those put together is increasing our average member membership activity daily or monthly or weekly altogether, right? That boils down to the last, that is December 31st. That is the third line of effort basically being achieved is if we can succeed by those two main lines of effort that leads into the third line of effort, we're set. So that's where this all leads. So what I'm basically trying to round out and say with this is I'm going to be very busy in the background. So one of the things, like, I don't always get to play, and especially recently I've been just I'm massively burned out, man. Come home, play some ESO, like, stay away from the community. I'm getting borderline cantankerous with people. So I'm really trying to just limit my exposure because we are getting frustrated in, in, in at work right now because there's a lot of things going on. But I don't want to bring that here. But I want to emphasize that I am working on a lot of things and I'm trying, and this for me is important to show you how many things I'm working on at the same time. So I really hope you can get excited and drive that energy because I am super pumped. I'm super happy you got to see this. I really hope that the, the HD finishes up really soon because I want to make the post and put the HD out there so you can really see how crisp the graphics are and how sharp the lines are and how awesome everything is, right? You look mm -hmm. at it, the, the photo for... I think it was, I can't remember which one. I, it was either the mascot or the Sokar's Legion logo itself. It came out like 15,000 by 17,000. It was absolutely insane. It almost crashed my computer trying to load the big-ass vector file. So that's the kind of detail we're working with here. And so your money goes to something that's actually benefit, or that looks badass, essentially, right? So... That's going to be the end of my diatribe. Um, that is what I wanted to reveal today. I'm actually surprised we went past five, even though I think the bulk of it was really just a half an hour of stuff. Mainly the other half an hour was just trying to fight to get the stream to work. But whatever shit happens, I don't care. It worked. You got to see it. Um, but, yeah, so look towards the outfit news. I'm going to post the HD link so you can actually see the quality, see the transition, see the work, see everything that you can get into and get um, if you want to start streaming SKL stuff, you want to start having that around, whatever, just get a hold of me if you want a personal logo. We'll go from there. It's going to take a lot of work um, and a lot of time. I don't know how, I know people have already sent me DMs asking about it. So it's, you know, measure your expectations and I'm going to try to address everybody uh, separately and a bit of priority and start taking care of that kind of side of the house because I was really hoping you'd all be excited. And so far it looks like a lot of you are. Um, so. I'm going to shut the hell up. We'll start taking questions from the audience. And then, um, yeah, is there any questions from there? Uh, HL, can you hear me? Yeah. I, I just can. want to say this looks absolutely awesome, and I can't believe you're willing to put forth this much effort and time and money into doing something like this. So thank you very much. This looks great. I appreciate that. And to be perfectly honest, everyone, like the same thing I said before, like I love this place. I've been here for basically two and a half, almost three years. And I just feel like we can have an awesome community. It just, you know, we've got, we've got the people with the good ideas and the drive, but with the way the world is right now and everybody can commit financially to certain things and that's fine, right? Like I've got the opportunity to do that and I absolutely want to do that. And so this is where I'm, going to put all my efforts right like i just i don't know i think we can go far we've got all, we got awesome leadership we got people working on some cool ass ideas and we got the opportunity to actually set ourselves apart out of not only the planet side community but the gaming community overall like like i said before when i first talked to a lot of you i think it was a second town hall it was a little bit fucking 
a little bit big headed, but I said I was like Genghis Khan. I want to fucking I want to conquer Europe. You know, I'm happy with Asia, but I want to go far, right? Like, like I want you to understand, and I, I hope you all understand how far I want us to go with this. And this is just the example of how far I'm willing to go just for a couple months of work. So I got some big plans, and I got some really high expectations of myself and what I can come up with. And I hope that you all are on board to, to just ride the wave and just be a part of something awesome. You know, I have a feeling that we're going to be seeing a lot of Twitch streamers and YouTube streamers with the SoCar uh, logo. That's what we really hope, guys. And uh, Uber, I need to jump in here because we really need more content creators on our own community, guys. Like just people, I don't know, making memes or making videos of people playing or just any kind of content creators inside of SKL would be amazing. And this is probably the best opportunity anyone is going to get because you get this full pack of SKL media to use with like anything. So if there's a time for anyone to start like making videos or streaming inside of SKL, it's now. So I'm going to take a quick peek and see if the HD is done uploading because I know that takes a bit. Um, my last one took for God awful forever to get it to work. But we'll just see. Upgrade, upgrade your internet. Oh, I got, oh, I, got <laughs> I got the 250 megabyte yellow knife special. You know, <laughs> we don't have fiber line, but we got a fucking some sort of line. You say charge us like they do. They'll charge you like that even if you don't have it. Right. Okay. Well, I is there any to... any other questions from the crowd? Sorry, Arby, let me catch up. Yeah, I this this is something I I've been meaning to ask you before. Uh, not sure if you've looked into it already, uh, but do we have like uh, uh, already some knowledge about the line to get that logo in game for me to have it on my Sunder? Because if not, like we no. need to look into no. like so I had it because I I want that in my galaxy. <laughs> I've had an extensive conversation with Arshi on this topic because he was the only one that I knew had a lifeline to get this stuff done. And right now there's an interest from DBG and Rogue Planet, whoever, whatever they call themselves now, fuck's sake. Um, there's an interest for them to get the, the player studio started again, but it's a hard lockout. And I am going to re-engage with Arshi again, but um, I was really hoping he would take that community manager job for kind of particularly this reason if we could leverage that, but he still has a lot of pull with Rel in them. So this, like, the link to get us to do things is through our content creators who have that link with the the, the devs, right? Like that talk rate to Rel, right? So Commander Sirius, Kamikaze, Winter Gaming, yeah, I'll, Archie, I'll right? Look, I'll, I'll take a quick look into that because to be completely honest, I think it's not as hard as we think it is because, like, every time I go back to Planetside, I... I stay away for a while and I come back and I see a bunch of new logos in game that haven't been there like last time I checked. So I think there is still a line to get this kind of stuff in game. It's just probably something that's like under covers and most people don't know about. But one thing that we can try to do, Uber, and actually it might be a pretty good idea to do it now is they do have the new community manager and he, he does seem to be like a, a guy that's relatively easy to reach to and it might be a good idea to try to get to him because SKL should have right. one contact, right? Well, so we, we can I'm, look into that. Yeah, that's something we can absolutely talk about. In the meantime, HD is up. I'm going to play it while I just talk and kind of answer questions. I'll be checking with my phone. Um, but I'm going to put this up on the screen, on the screen, on the screen. There we go. And I'm just going to play right from the logo start. I'm not going to play the audio. I'm just going to play uh, the logo. So I'll give it like a minute or so for people to join if they want to watch mine or if they want to watch it on their own. Um, hey, Uber. Yes. You meant to say Daybreak, didn't you? I uh, like Daybreak, Rogue Planet. I don't know. Like <laughs> They're the developers. Same. Yeah, I just call them the developers. Man, I mean, I know them as Sony Online Entertainment, right? Like. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start start playing this. Wow, you're old. Oh, dude, so I, mean, I, re I remember them as Sony Online Entertainment also when I used to play uh, EverQuest one and two. 
Yeah, yeah I mean, man. Like, you you got to remember, Uber and I are you know the kind of folks that have been around since Planet Side One. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and Uber, I I have to say that's that's especially why I like the Betty, you know, as the SKL mascot the instead of the Chen. <laughs> yeah, because it's it's the boomer one. You know, we have all these Zoomer outfits with their outfit chans, and we're here with our Betty. <laughs> Love it, man. Hey, it like... it be. uh, hey Uber. Yes. So uh, one thing I heard about up when uploading videos to YouTube is even if you don't have like a 2K or a 4K render of your video, if you upload it as that resolution anyway, then when people select that resolution to watch it in the YouTube client, it'll stream it with a higher bit rate, and so it'll still look better, even if it's still only a 1080p video. So I just... Yeah, that's what... If you watch Linus Tech Tips, that's how they upload all their videos. Even though they're all only 1080p native, they still upload them as 4K. And Man, so... That's like... That's beyond my... Dude. <laughs> I don't know. I, I if if you could send me like a guide or something like I'm dumb as a stick in this stuff, man. Like, I'm lucky I, I've got a, I'm, I'm lucky I've got a YouTube fucking account to put this stuff. <laughs> did Roby already leave? Looks like he did. All right, so I'm gonna start kind of going through a couple of the questions that we have pinned in the channel. Uh, game sure. Game, go ahead and do a look back. Make sure I didn't miss any. A uh, question from Fear Cipher says, "Will we be seeing the return of divisions anytime soon?" No. Uh, yeah. So the the full answer to that is no, not ever. Divisions were nuked into the ground because they were a system that just didn't work. Uh, from the ashes of the division system, we are rebuilding with the academy system, where it's a place of systematic and structured learning. Make sure that we are able to impart knowledge to you, as was the original intent of the division system. Uh, we're, we're hoping that with this new system, we're able to keep everything under control and stop, you know, individual academies from just dying. But the the short answer is no. Academies well, academies are here to stay. Divisions are gone. <laughs> Uh, and then the immediate question after that is, is the video large announcement or is there something else? I mean, if you're expecting more, then I'm sorry to disappoint you, but that, that, that's it. That's, that's the thing. A uh, question from Van Glider says, has Command considered replicating Command Adjutant from out Outfit Wars using the Discord stages for the Force Commander communications? between platoon leads and uh, squad leads. So when you're talking comms, especially combat comms, you, the more you inject in between, the more interactive the information gets and the slower the information passage happens, right? So putting an intermediary in between is not going to speed up comms. It's, it's actually going to add another element that's going to cause more cluttered comms. Okay. Question from Tudor Boo says, where did you get this vocal coder? It's not just nice, it's noise. <laughs> vocal coder? What? I think he's talking about the, uh, the, the, modulator, the modulator for the voice. Oh, uh, dude, that's just me changing the pitch from the voice actor in uh, Cyber Power. I changed one, I changed it to man, and then I added a lower tone. On one channel, the other channel I left is the so her voice is the like Sammy Price. Her voice is the one's channel, and then I just changed the pitch and the tone of it on the other side of the channel. I originally had a plan to alternate uh, the laughing portion so the channel swapped, but man, did that sound terrible! It just overstepped and just it was it was gross. I'm sure if I had a better utility to do it, I could have done it, but um, that's it. Okay. So. Uh... Oh, you not. You still got more to say? No, not really. I'm just gonna replay the video from that point. Okay. Uh, another question from Tudor Boot says: Does the armor have spots for her abs, or do her abs show through the armor? He is not gonna be sexualized in any way. We do not sexualize any. <laughs> or Uber, Uber. You know the internet. You, you, what did you think? I know. Oh, bro, th this is definitely showing up on Rule Thirty Four. Like, like, let's be honest here. I'm not fucking stupid. 
I know you freaks <laughs> want to pay money for this sort of shit too. So, come on, I got a long term game plan. Okay. Hey, all uh, the fandom that thought would be perverted like that. I didn't think it would be this one. Uh, hey, question Jack. from Little Tweeter says, if the logo ever makes it into the game and on our vehicles, will it have the mascot on it? I feel like the mascot would be too much for the in-game logo. Oh, and that's exactly why the swirl is in there. The mascot will add too much clutter. I, I, it depends. If I can get both in there, I'd love to get both. I don't mind either or. Um, but the, the, the logo with the mascot is very, very busy. And I don't know what the size of the files that are going onto the game vehicles. I don't imagine they're very big. So that's why it's going to be most likely the swirl. It might not even have the actual words of Soulcard Legion on there either. It might just be the black hole. So if I can get it to be what I'm showing right now, that to me I think is optimal because it's clear, it fits in a small area, and still can be quite legible at a distance. A uh, question from Creosis. Can I resurrect the old builder ops and the academy that follows? No. You are more than permitted to run operations. You are more than permitted to pull people together for construction and things that this, that, and the other. But there is an academy planned for construction, and there is a selection process for academy heads. Oh, as I pour the last ounce of bit of alcohol I've got in my... Oh, wait. Oh, Hell yeah, dude. Um, okay, so the thing is, folks, when it comes to the academies, there's a lot of work involved with it, and I'm very careful to roll out academies. Um, oh, God, there it is. That's lost it. Uh, so, and what I mean by that is this. Academy isn't just something you pick up on a weekend too often, right? It involves multiple people because there has to be overlapping lines of effort in the sense of, like, I'll say, let's say, if you can't show up one weekend, who's taking your task? Who's taking the thing that you said you would be able to do? You need someone to back you up, right? The Academy, the Officer Academy, to give you an example, has basically four mentor groups with staff that are able to cover each of the mentor groups when folks can't meet achievements or meet uh, commitments. Because life happens, right? That's the reality of this. It's, this is a volunteer organization. Everything we do is for volunteer. You need to have that coverage. So to be able to say, I want to be the one guy starting up one academy, no, that will never be allowed because we do not want something that's hinged on one single person. The whole effort that we put into changing SKL to what it is now is the fact that no single person can disappear and have this fall apart, right? For the longest, and we literally approved that, and this isn't a slide against Sokar, but Sokar hasn't been around, and we're fucking doing great. Okay, we're still advancing. The idea is we all pull together. And that is the point of this whole thing. So to have one person start a construction group is a no. If you have six people that want to start it, now we're talking. If you have four people that want to start it, okay, that's a bit of a stretch, but we make it work, okay? You have to understand the commitment level because people also get disappointed. And I can speak from this from with my time in my division is you might put so much time into something and you might get one or two people showing up on a weekly basis like, eh, you know, I'm not a big fan of construction. I like to learn some things, but that's as far as it's going to go. What happens? Are you going to keep that commitment level? Are you going to keep that drive for multiple months? No, of course not. Right? You're going to fall off the wayside. That idea is going to fail. And now we're going to have this zombie portion of the academy. Okay? So things we're rolling out, we are very slow, very deliberate with. Because as something gets created... It needs to have a backup plan. And at the same time, the things that already have been created also have to have a backup plan because the backup plans also fail. Right? So you need to understand the complexity of something like starting a new academy. And this is why we didn't roll out all the academies in one big fanfare like a Russian fucking Victory Day parade. Right? This has been a very slow, deliberate process. Everything's measured. We are learning from every le lesson we get out of uh, each stage of the academies. So each new phase, each new division, or, or sorry, uh, arm of the academies or school, whatever you want to call it, Ashley, you need to help me on that one, right, is deliberate, slow, and calculated. And it involves all the chain of command weighing in as to what is it maintainable, sustainable, and practical. Okay? Yeah, so Uber pretty much hit the nail on the head there. Just to give you guys an idea as to how this has all been unfolding, this is something that I've personally been working on ever since I was a swarm lord. And that was about 
five months ago ish now when the first trigger pull happened and when i got the first authorization to begin working on the academy's project as of right now we have rolled the officers academy which is currently headed up by orbi manager and prozan we are currently in the middle of preparing for a launch for the air academy we should be launching within the next week or two uh, we're currently in the middle of training the staff for that. Uh, I currently have people signing up for heading up the Infantry Academy, and armor's not far behind. That being said, the biggest thing that I'm going to ask from you guys is patience. The, as, as someone said earlier, the death of the division system does not mean that you're not permitted to run ops. If you want to go run ops, go run ops. You know, that is your purview as a leader. You, know, you you go do you, you play the game the way you want to play it. That being said, we are building a system of structure to make sure that no matter what happens, this system does not die. Because then, that, then the people who formed that academy or formed that division, if it dies, that means that we're reneging on our promise to make sure that you have an enjoyable experience and have an environment where you can learn. <clears throat> yeah, that's about all. One thing I can say, though, is that whenever we do a takeover, I notice that SKL is always the dominant uh, force in there. Well, that, that, that does partly happen because we're half the server population. Yeah, yeah. But still, you know, it's a good thing to see dominant, you know, the dominant force being SKL. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, for sure. It just gets our name out there. That's actually how I got into SKL is I was just a blueberry running around, and every time I was at a base, the computer told me to go capture. When it got captured, it said the dominant force was SKL, and after, like, several weeks of SKL, 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 I'm like, what is this thing? And so I went out and researched it, and then here I am. Well, welcome yep. to the Legion, man. Well, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. like I said, you know, that's what brings a lot of people to us is that, you know, they keep on seeing when we do captures, they keep on seeing dominant force SKL and they're like, who the hell are these people? And they look and they look us up and they're like, OK. Yeah, I've actually been a member for several months. We're just is a there... bunch of nerds that love planet side. Some of you are nerds, that's for sure. No, uh, we're just a bunch of nerds who love games. <laughs> any other questions from the crowd? There's no, just before I clarify, this is the Q&A portion. This, uh, there's there's no further announcements. This is this is it. So if you're unhappy, Actually, I, sorry, I can't help you with that. Yeah, at this point in time, you guys are more than free to unmute yourselves and you know, begin asking questions. Just try not to talk <laughs> over each other. Could Could I uh, just say one thing? With the, uh, I do plan on finally getting around to revamping the Minecraft server, and within the next week, expect to see that I'll be looking for people to help with some building projects to get that set up. Uh, and yeah, and if you're currently in the Minecraft server, do you expect a wipe to be coming soon? Hey, Slubber, sorry to say this, but Shudder. What? <laughs> Shudder, I'm shuddering because of my because of Minecraft. It's been so long since I played that. <laughs> you obviously haven't played with enough mods. I never played Minecraft with mods, believe it or not. Well then and... you might as well not have played Minecraft. <laughs> oh and by the way, Streak One, Super Karen lead, really? We are not a bunch of Karens here. A super some Karen, of, like some of us, some of us are Karens, but not all of us. All right, folks, I'm not gonna keep you or myself up longer. If we don't have any other questions, um, that is gonna wrap up the town hall. Yeah, go I to wanted, sleep, Uber. I wanted to add to that question about the force commanders of uh, the communications. I believe mm -hmm. that question was more like, is the main leads going to be on Discord so that the game people can actually chat in Platoon Chat or Squad oh, Chat? No, 
the it's the you have to do away when it comes to force commanding specifically you have to do with the traditional platoon of like a lax shoot the ship platoon it's actually an operation style so that's why we don't run it all the time that's why we only run it you know try to run it at least once a month because it's it takes energy out of people and it's not everything people are wanting to be a part of the the communications are very very difficult that is the one linchpin that can completely derail an fc event and it's something we're trying different avenues on you know it's not a fixed formula this thing wasn't designed to be perfect right off the start it was designed to be a learning process so we're trying different avenues discord there's some resistance to using Discord because some people have an issue with it cluttering up their system and their comms, so they want to focus on the in-game comms. The problem with in-game comms is certain limitations as well in terms of like ducking and things like that. So it's comms is not going to be a, a perfect answer, and that's more of a question that we can we have to develop over time with practice, right? See what the bulk of the community can deal with. Can in, I make a function. suggestion on comms? Sure. Team speak. It's the same. It's you got command channel, but not everybody goes into it, right? These are public platoons. Whether you have the leadership in Teamspeak or Discord, it's the same effect, right? It's the third-party system that people are resisting, not the actual platform. Well, it's the I fact think... that. Sorry, go ahead. I'm gonna say it's the fact that people need to use a separate program and system, part of their experience that has the majority of the resistance. Not whether it's Teamspeak, Mumble, or Ventrilo. It's it's. The platform is it's not the issue. It's the fact that you have to use the platform. A lot of people are wanting to stick to in-game comms only. Hey, I got an idea. Why don't we why don't we stream the the command chat or whatever that you're saying people are resisting to being on a third platform for, just like on Twitch or a YouTube stream or something where people don't have to download anything. They can just go to some website and listen to it that way. It's available to everyone. That's another issue. Um, yeah, yeah, that's a good point. We don't want TRNCs in. Oh, there's the command chat. Yeah. Hey, uh, Ty, I don't Sorry, know. Sorry, I, I, I got into SKL because you guys were using the in-game comms mostly. A lot of the other clans and outfits and whatnot were not using that sort of thing, and I had to download something in order to communicate with those people. Uh, I, I'm actually really glad that you guys had the open comms in game uh it's something that i think you guys really excelled at uh, yeah i, I know yeah. any of the other factions honestly so um yeah yep. so i throw my two cents in there yeah hey, so, uh, Uber. Oops, sorry go ahead so will there be extra rooms for us during force commander because the last one it filled up quite quickly and six people doing six different gunning trips doesn't walk in one room. Or oh, voice chat and Discord. Yeah, well, so one of the issues with comms, especially open comms, in a command setting, is it's not only OPSEC, but it's more of the um, the clutter and the chatter becomes an issue because when you're force commanding, you're adding that layer of communication where when when you have a when you're a platoon leader. Right, you tell your squad leader to go achieve something. It's pretty short distance communication, right? It's one person. When you're force commanding, now you're telling the platoon leader, and the, then the squad leader gets it. And we've experimented with having squad leads not able to talk, but are able to listen. And this is the benefit of the Discord thing: is only the leads are in the Discord, not the whole platoon. No, fuck no, that's just ridiculous. It's not going to happen, right? We run public platoons for this. The, the public platoons won't change. It's just a matter of. The discipline in the public platoon does have to tighten up a little bit, and that's on the platoon and squad leads. And it's something we're experimenting with when we do the selections of who's going to be leading what, be specifically because of that, because the system isn't perfect. This is the first of its kind, right? You see streamers that organize, like, a mass of people to go and zerg something, right? We are trying to actually put one person in a seat to essentially command a faction for the most part um, by basically monopolizing the platoons that we have with the people in them to achieve the win, right? And it's it's a challenge because not only we develop the, te the tactics, techniques, and procedures to do it, we're also de developing the methods that we achieve that within ourselves, not only like how, like tactically, but I mean specifically, what are we doing in terms of talking between each other? How restrictive are we getting? How far away are we going to get from SKL's code of also being, you know, casual, right? Like we want we want to find that strict balance. So there's a lot involved with that. 
because we can't just tell everybody to shut up and you know you're gonna start kicking the like, people are just gonna leave your platoons because they don't want to be a part of it we want to make people just feel like they're in an skl platoon but something bigger they're a part of something that you know that's still organized but organized more and the unfortunate part of it is, is the short-sightedness of the developers when they made this game is they didn't see the potential for organization to go this big so they limited it to an outfit outfit or a command channel and that's it that was their attempt at being able to have people coordinate on mass the problem is is anybody in it with a one-person, two-person squad can get in the command chat, right? And you have issues with OPSEC and people know where you're going and then people just playing music in the command chat, right? Like, that, whatever. One of the things that, and I'll give Prozan credit to this, is taking back the command channel for our command actual comms. It's one thing that gave Vanu the leg up and, and made Vanu popular, especially like two years ago, as our command channels were good. Um, they kind of got derailed because the other factions and our own people saw that you know, they could really derail us if they mess up the command channel. So they had to be adapts, right? People adapted by just not using command channel for a period of time. But we want to still maintain the idea that you can just come in, be casual in SKL platoon, but have it so people can feel like if they want to be some, part of something bigger, they're part of whatever we call it, the March of the Legion or Force Commander event or something cool, and be like, look, we're doing something awesome that no other outfit has the capability of doing in planets like completely whatsoever, right? You might be able to see two or one and a half platoons but to give you a perfect example during the uh skl spotlight we had two platoons in a bastion and like we rolled those into three platoons right that were that were functional so it's it's a system that i'm taking under my wing as my personal baby for this as to develop in conjunction with people who are taking those positions like it's one thing to see on the outside and talk about options. It's another thing to actually be in that position to see what constraints you are. And I'll give you the, the example that I always use is a forward observer, uh, at least in the Canuck military, you've got, you've got a headset that you can put your comms. When you put it into a 522, command and or a combat team and battery are going to be coming in two separate ears. You can't get that with this game. You get the same amount of chatter that you have to pull information from, but you can't separate the comms, right? So that's the one thing we're trying to achieve, is how do we separate that information so you can pull out what's important to you and what's chatter without really needing to tell your platoon to, to buckle up. But we haven't really achieved that yet, and it's a work in progress, right? That's a very, very long-winded answer to a question I probably didn't even shoot the like close to what you were looking for in terms of an answer. But the, the roundabout way of just me wrapping up saying is, it's a long process, and we're working through it. We're trying different different things. We got the bulk of our leadership involved of in trying to create these uh, the way forward and the lessons learned. Hey uh, Uber, I don't know if you saw this question from SQIGO. It says, "Anyone else on the fence? Uh, anyone else on the fence about this mascot? She's cute and all, but I don't think it's a good idea to represent the whole outfit." And she doesn't seem very Vanu, in my opinion. I feel like it should have been, it should have just been a generic Vanu soldier. It's from uh, SQIGO. So here's the thing: there, yes, I, you will never pre, I will never please every person here. I will say that right now. If I try to make a logo that will please everybody, I, I just won't achieve it. So I went with a ninety percent solution, right? I went with the classic. I, she's not Red Eagle on a bomb. She's just there. She looks respectable. She looks badass. And to be perfectly honest, like, I, I just, yeah, I, I have nothing I can say on that. Yeah, I, I wasn't saying anything about it. I was just, you know, bringing that question up to you. I was just uh, bringing that comment up to your uh, attention. <laughs> Question from Glorious Frost says, "What's the beef with TR with VF's faction always on, always going after us only well most of the time?" It's pigs. I'm just gonna say it simply. It's just pi pigs. No, they, no, it's not. It's not, not fucking not. just pigs. It's not. No, well, it's, it's a it's a, pigs. it's a three way faction game. If it's not TR, it's NC complaining that Van who's on them. Right? We had the forty percent win ratio on prime time like come on that's 
I'm not even going to really, I don't want to get into that discussion. Because you know what? It, it, it's not fucking war pigs. It's not anybody. It's the fact that we have only two factions to fight. If there was a fourth faction, that fourth faction would be complaining that two of them are ganging on the other two. Right? Like, it's ridiculous. It's, it's, it's the way the game was designed. Like, But you got to admit, it is partially war pigs and pale tiger and all that. Well, the, no. only, re- the only reason why they're going after us is because we're the best. That's why. That is yeah. true. Everyone's going after everyone. But that's the thing. It's like, okay, so war pigs left the server because they were going to target and kick that, their ass kicked by fucking uh, wild cards. So what? What does it matter? Like, it's it's a game design where you shoot people in the face on different factions. Like, I don't I don't sleep on an anti TR pillow. I'm not. I don't have a body pillow of some NC bent over. Like, who cares? It's a dumb discussion on that sense, and I'll be perfectly frank. Like, it's one I hate entertaining, right? You see it on Reddit, and whatever. Let's go to another question. It just pisses me off. Um, <laughs> yeah, there, there are no other questions at this point in time. I was in a platoon once under someone like that, and they were just, like, rambling and ranting and raving and anti-TR this and anti-NC that and TR just such whatever and NC can't handle this, this and that and the other and it, just, it was grating. It was annoying. I almost yeah, left this is Yelp chat. It's Yelp chat. What? Yes. Oh, are you talking about Yelp chat or is someone talking in the platoon chat? It was a platoon lead. Okay. He inherited yeah, the platoon I, I, from I someone have, else. I have a few ideas of who it can be. It doesn't matter. But yeah, I would have left the I would have left the platoon if that was the case. I, I yeah. It, it went on to to a point where one of the other members of the platoon was like, "Hey, can you just cut it out? Can you just stop?" And I think at that point you realize, "Wow, I'm being really annoying," and so he stopped for the most part. But Look, for folks, the first hour, it was annoying. The fight between the NCTR has been going since Planet Side One, back when we used to call each other Barneys. Uh, Elmos and Smurfs, it was always, you know, it's always a two-way against Vanu. It's always a two... You know what? I've played since fucking the beta of Planet Side 1. It's the same old story, same old shit. Just grab your weapon, stay with your platoon, and have fun. Right? Like, there are nights we're going to go on a losing streak. There are nights we're going to go on a winning streak. It's just, if we have good challenge, then we have good challenge. Like, I love, I love when it's a challenge. Some of the best fights I remember having is fighting Enclave. And... F- it with fucking uh, as Azure Twilight. Like oh, that was yeah. awesome. Those were the good those were good times. So if War Pigs is coming over and giving us an awesome challenge, like fuck yeah. I love it. Uh, it's not it's not so much of a challenge, it's just that What challenge, know, dude? Yeah, it, it's challenge. not so much of a challenge. It's just, you know, they're always they're pretty much always attacking just SKL. You know, if, if you have an SKL tag on your name, they just automatically go. They don't care about anyone else. They'll automatically go right after you. Okay, so oh, sure. if you let them live good long anyways, you see your so tag, just, you did it wrong. Come on, yeah, they're but, not targeting. They're how would I put it? They're always going to target us. It's going to be a fact of life. You're going to have to account for it. Don't let them yeah. let live rent heat free in your head. That's all uh, I'm going to say about it. Out. I'm going to interject here with an old ghost saying, it doesn't matter what color armor you wear, you all bleed red when you're in my scope. That's, yep. that's all it is. That's the thing. That's like the old official thing, too. The old party, the party line that I'm going to say here now is official stance, and it does not matter. Sounds it absolutely like an does not line, matter. Anyway, anyways, gentlemen, I'm out of here. I'm going to go back in game. Yeah, Here's, so at, at any other point, questions? Yeah, are there any other questions? Because if not at this point, I'm going to start rolling the outro music. You got 30 yep. seconds. Turn off the lights. Kill the AC. Let's put this to bed. Well, I have, I have a question. Ask... Yes. So, Uber, you said that you don't have a TR or NC body pillow. Right, so, you do have a body pillow. pillow. Not quite a body pillow, but, you know. So, you don't have an NC TR body pillow, but... You do have a body pillow then. Little Freudian slips there. Everybody's got to love somebody. <laughs> Something. <laughs> Little uh, Freudian slip there, Uber. He's like, I thought you met my wife, shows the commissioner. 
<laughs> and we're playing the outro music. Yes. We're playing the good night, guys. All right, folks. Thanks for coming along and seeing the video. Yeah, thanks for showing it to us. It was, it was awesome. awesome. Cheers, folks. I can't wait to see where it goes from here. Yeah, video was definitely awesome. Yeah, I expect to post everybody. on it in a little bit on the uh, announcements channel. Oh God. Hey, Uber, get some sleep, man. You need. You sound like you need it. Yeah, man. Good yep. night. Sweet dreams. Cheers. Cheers, folks. Good night, everyone. See you guys. And then there was 15. For yep. Damn. That's something about merch, right? That could be SKL Betty Buddy Pillow. Come on. <laughs> Just saying. Well, then.